Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to talk about small flat rides. This is a pretty unique subject here. Not a lot of you have small flat rides out there. I know a lot of you have flat rides, uh, and I know that from all the email that I get about them. So I thought I'd put some of these up. I don't know if I've ever shown all of these together, my smaller ones. Uh, right here I have a Sound Creation Peisty 16-inch dark flat ride. I've never seen another one of these, but uh, maybe one of you out there has one, and you can tell us about it. And then we have the famous 16-inch Peisty 602 from the uh, late 60s, very famous symbol. We'll talk about that in a minute. And of course, we have the symbol I use lots, an 18-inch Peisty traditional flat ride with a few rivets. And this symbol is from the 2000s. They don't make these anymore. Well, they don't make any of them anymore, but you can find them used. I see them from time to time for sale. And I have just a pair of regular old hand-hammered hi-hats, uh, Sabians I'm using here. These are 13s. So we'll be playing a little with these symbols. I'll tell you a little about them. First things first, this symbol here is very well known because of one guy, and that guy's name is Roy Haynes, probably uh, the greatest jazz drummer of all time, in my opinion. He's still with us. I don't know how old he is now, but knocking on 97, probably. <laughs> Just an incredible musician. I've done several videos about him, so you could look for those, but he's one of my heroes. But anyway, he used this symbol, This not this exact symbol, but one just like it uh, on the Chick Corea record, Now He Sings, Now He Sobs, uh, the classic jazz record. So uh, after that record, he gave this symbol to Chick Corea, who uh, was also a drummer, if you didn't know that already. And then Chick Corea would have his musicians or his drummers play it. First guy was A. Erto who played it on some Return to Forever records, the most notable, notable one being uh, Light as a Feather, uh, if you can hear this symbol on that. And then, of course, later on, he gave it to Barry Atchell uh, for Circle with Dave Holland, Chick, and Barry, uh, some of that kind of avant-garde jazz, great stuff. And then after that, you might have heard Adam Cruz play it, and after that, uh, Jeff Ballard, play it with origin. So that symbol that he has, he's pretty much kind of the band leader like uh, Dizzy Gillespie, who would have a symbol, like Dizzy had this old cracked China. I remember seeing Robbie Amin play it at, um, at a jazz concert in New York years and years ago. This thing was really in bad shape. And Dizzy would have his drummers play this thing. And of course, Maynard Ferguson had a giant ride symbol, as did Stan Kenton, and he had his drummers play that. So it goes on and on throughout history of band leaders who had particular symbols they wanted their drummers to play uh, because of familiarity or uh, obviously because they just liked the symbol. So this is one of those symbols, this Peisty 602. Uh, I know that Roy gave it to Chick because he thought it sounded dull, but it really is the sound of that record if you listen to now he sings, now he sobs, especially on the tune Matrix, where he's playing all kinds of amazing things like this. I know that's a poor Roy Haynes imitation, but that is the sound. And as soon as you start playing that thing, you're kind of living it. Now, for years, I hunted for a symbol like this. The first time I heard that record when I was a kid, I was so blown away. It didn't leave my turntable for two months. And then I had to buy another copy because I literally wore it out. It remains one of my favorite records. And if you don't have that, I definitely suggest if you're into jazz or any great drumming, Go out and buy that one. So that is the sound. And of course, if you listen to Light as a Feather, 
when you hear those really fast Brazilian samba patterns. Uh, Bayon, any of that, that's Aorto playing on that cymbal, okay? So it's got just a beautiful sound for recording. You might play it by itself and just say, that sounds like crap, but again, recorded with a band, it just cuts right through, and it's a very light cymbal. You can't, it's hard to overplay it, you know? Uh, you can even crash it with the shaft of the stick. Now you could do that with all flat rides. So this flat ride to my right is one of my favorite flats that I own. It is the Pisces Traditional 18. Uh, there's a couple rivets in it. It's just a beautiful warm symbol, a lot warmer and has a bit more character than this 602. So it's the lowest of the three. And I like these three symbols in this configuration because of that. Now on my left we have this Sound Creation uh, dark flat ride. I'll tighten this up a little here. This symbol is very heavy. Uh, not the best symbol if you play it by itself for sure. When you're talking about a 16-inch flat ride, you're talking about a really kind of, uh, you know, uh, symbol that's, again, unique, but it's a genre symbol, you know, ECM kind of stuff. extremely dry. So if you're in a band that plays a lot of Pat Metheny kind of stuff, that might be a good symbol for you. And, and like I said, it's a great, unique sounding symbol, but not an all-round symbol, whereas this traditional 18 is a great all-round symbol for lots of kinds of, of jazz. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a, a taste of these and especially show you, like I said, this Peisty 602 which is just a, a really special symbol. Now, if you watch my Flat Rides video, the original one I did, I show you lots. I have probably a dozen different Flat Rides. And that, that's where I show you my 20s and maybe even a 22 that I have. Uh, but the small ones definitely have a characteristic sound. And if you play in a piano trio uh, or a very small group that's really light, uh, perfect symbol for that. Because lots of times on those gigs, you just have to play brushes because any kind of regular cymbal is just too loud. But a flat ride like this is the absolute perfect thing for that. So we'll just play a little for you and we'll call it a day. <laughs> 